Good morning, everybody. My name is Roger David, and welcome to my mum's shed. Welcome to Mum Shed again. Uh, today we're going to have a rest from uh, talking about the lathe, but uh, we will be using the lathe. So today we are going to make a pen. Now then, uh, there's lots of videos on YouTube about making pens, but there's not many videos about making pens out of worktop samples. Now this is a typical uh, getter core, I'll give them a bit of advertising there. This is a worktop sample for a solid surface, or some people know it as corian. So we're going to cut this up, which I've just done on the on the bandsaw, and we're going to prepare it, and then uh, we're going to stick it together with some uh, some super glue. Now, what do you need for making a pen? Apart from the obvious, which is a lathe, and the record DML 320 is a very good lathe for doing it. Um, you also need uh, a pen mandrel. Now this is a pen mandrel, which fits on the lathe, and I'll just show you that in a moment. Um, there's some features with this that you want to be careful with, because this is a typical standard mandrel with, uh, with, uh, with bushes. Now, these bushes, I've seen these bushes disappear into the end of this coupler. So I've added a washer to that, to that mandrel, a washer on both ends, and on this end as well, to make sure that this bush doesn't disappear now because when you tighten up this it tightens everything up and puts a lot of pressure on it okay so that's a mandrel uh, we need a pen blank now this is a standard blank that you can buy um, and these cost around about anything from three pound fifty up to eight pound so they can be quite expensive um, you need a pen uh, a pen um, kit Okay, which is, uh, I've opened up here, this is a typical pen kit that you'll buy, all these little packages. We'll open these up now when it comes to assembly. And what you will need out of here, in the first instance, will be little brass tubes, which we're going to use when we make the blank. Okay, so those are two of the brass tubes that we need. Uh, you'll also need um, a set of drills, or for this particular pen, you need one in particular, which is a seven millimeter, and I've got that. There. And these are brad bits, which are important because you need to have the um, the bit with a lead-in point. That's number seven that we're going to use. So I'll take that out. You see, this is a brad bit, okay? And that will become important now when I explain to you when we drill it. Um, you also need some super glue or some CA glue, as the youngs call it. And we need some um, uh, uh, some activator, okay? Because we need to to get the glue going off a bit quick in some cases. You need some sandpaper. Um, this is um, uh, hafronite, I think it's called. Um, and this is a block which is really really useful when it comes to the comes to the lathe. It's got a hard side and it's got a soft side, so that's very very handy. And a couple of different sizes, usually around about the. I've got a 240. And I got a 400, which I'll be using the both of them when we come to shaping the blank up on the, on the lathe. Um, I've also got this little jig which I made. Um, drilling the blanks can be quite a challenge, 
because you've got this um, you've got this rel relatively thin blank and you've got to drill a hole right through the center it's got to go in the center and it's got to come out the center and that can be a bit difficult because on the drill press the uh, the drill actually does a bit of wandering if you put a drill in a drill press you'll see when you look at it it seems to vibrate because it's doing a bit of wandering so you has, must have a method of drilling these as accurate as you possibly can so I've made this uh, little block out of hardwood and the blank just fits in there of course that tightens up and hopefully that oops, it easy. hopefully that keeps it keeps it nice and square okay I tested that for strength it didn't fall apart when I dropped it so that's pretty good um, so I've already drilled the one let's make sure it's all going to stay together and uh, we're going to drill the other one so that's really what you need for for making a pen and uh, as we go through it now you'll be able to see how these uh, how these different parts come into play all right so the first thing I'm going to do now I'm going to prepare a blank which will end up something like half of one of these it end up looking like that actually okay but I need to stick these together now the one problem with this Corian is that the one side is rough that's okay but this is very very shiny which is not very good for glue so it needs to have it needs to have a hold on there so I gotta rough it up a little bit okay so I'm gonna do this on my little Dremel and I'm gonna use this little jig here which I made uh, for actually making sure that these stack up somewhere near because uh, we want to try and keep them all as square as possible and I'll be putting them in the vise and then uh, I'll be leaving them in there for a while so that uh, they bond really well it is important because these are going to go through a lot of stress okay so I'll get my, my glue ready and I'll get my activator ready and I'm going to wear some gloves <coughs> which is very very important because super glue likes to stick to everything, fingers in particular. And it's very difficult to work when you've got two or three fingers stuck together. So best to get the gloves out first. So here we are. Well, then when I uh, sand these down, I like to put the super glue on both sides uh, just to make sure that, uh, that everything is covered. Uh, I find for this, you can sand this down with anything you like, uh, but I find my little Dremel does a really good job because you really need to take the surface off. Try and not take too much off because you, this is nice and flat, and you don't want to uh, uh, interfere with the with, with 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 the flatness to stick on the other one. Okay. So yeah, sorry about the noise. Okay, that's just about right now. Nice and rough. I need to take it again. You don't need to go the other side. Okay, now the number of these that you use depends on the thickness of the material. What we're looking for overall uh, depends on which pen kit you're using. With this particular pen kit, because it's a 7mm drill, uh, we need 6 okay, to make up uh, uh, approximately um, 16 to 20 mil. All right? uh, we could probably get away with making, making 5 really, looking at this. Yes, we go for gold. We're going to make five. We think it's right. Of course, if you've got any paper stuck in the back, you're going to make sure you take that off. Um, so that one's got a bit of paper, and so is that one. It'll be all right. 
He's will come off quite easily. A little bit of scraper. These are little things that you've got to make sure you do. And I found that uh, to my folly, when I started experimenting with this, I'd leave the paper on and it would fly off on the on the on the lid. So that's the part. It doesn't matter which way they stick once you rough them up. But now we need to uh, put some glue on. I got this little glue spreader. These are very good because after you finish gluing with these, you can clean them up. The glue won't stay on these for very long. This is typical super glue. This particular super glue is available in Poundland, and you get three for a pound, and that's a really, really good bargain with uh, super glue. But it can be a bit expensive. So we're first going to do a little bit of glue on this fellow here. Not too much, just a bit. Spread it nice and evenly over the whole thing. Put that on there for a moment. Do the next one. Spread this out nice and evenly. Make sure you cover everything. Okay. And then we put this, stick in the gloves already, onto there. Chuck it in there nice and tight. Okay, press it down, make sure that it goes down nicely, nice and square, and then pop it into either some clamps, or I use my vice, which is quite convenient there. Okay, so same again. Not too much glue, just enough to cover the surface. bit of activator on here which acts straight away and as soon as that goes on it starts to go off. So we put some glue on here now. Same thing, put that one on there, put it in my little jig, tighten it up, press it down nice and hard, back out into the vice, just like a production line in Sony. Fantastic. Right, off again. Good glue. Spread it out. Just remember, any bit that you don't cover won't be glued. Activate that. Put it together. A bit of glue on there. Put that in there. This one that we just glued, put him in there with that, squeeze him up together, put him down nice and tight into the vice. There, bit of activator. Last one. Trick just to prove that it's not going to fall apart. Always good to have a little test in between. Spread the glue about. Put them in the little jig. Glue then on the glue then, nice and solid. Push them in tight, nice and tight. Press him down. And put him. And we don't need to have activator on that one because <coughs> we won't be using that one because I like to leave these uh, once you got to that stage it's good to leave them for a good 24 hours it's not a question of the glue drying it's a question of the glue curing and it takes that sort of time to get it done so I'm not going to expect you to hang around for 24 hours so don't worry about that as I said earlier I've already drilled one of these now that's, um, that's one of these that I made up earlier Okay, and I'm going to go through the process now of drilling one of these. 
Because when it comes out of there tomorrow, <coughs> it'll be it'll be like this. This is one that's cut in half. But you do need, because of the process of drilling, we need to tidy this up a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to take it to my sander, uh, which I find is the best. Um, and I'm going to square the end off a little bit so I can I can go through to the next stage. It's important that you set this up so it's going to do it nice and square. Okay, sorry about the noise for a minute. Um, going to uh, prepare this for, for drilling uh, our seven millimeter hole on the way. Okay so the next part is to uh, get a center uh, as close as we possibly can and the best way to do this is going across the corners. It's pretty accurate. At the end of the day if it doesn't get smack on the center it's not the end of the world. I've actually drilled one of these within within a sixteenth of the a sixteenth of an inch of the edge of the blank. And I still put it on the lathe. Now we do it both ends. I'll show you why in a minute. Right across the corners. As such, that we need to have a little hole now right in the centre. So I, you can use what you like, but I like to use this little drill. That pretty well centered with that, and I like to drill the both ends. There we are. Simple. Okay, now we're going to use our little jig, and this will fit. Now this is expandable. It'll take up about two, about a, about an inch. Some blanks are thicker. Than, this one is a is a twenty mil blank, and we use that for um, pens with thicker brass brass tubes. Okay, so I'm going to take this to the drill press. <coughs> and I'm going to stick it on there and make sure that this goes all the way down the bottom. Everything is sitting nice and flat. Right. I've got to get my 7mm drill bit from over there. Right, I've now put a 7mm drill bit in there. That's the size of the tube that we need. And you can see now why we need the brad bit. And you can see now we made a hole. Because before I start the drill up, I'm going to place the, the brad bit into the hole. Right, that's the leading hole there, okay? So that's fine. notice when I'm drilling this I'm taking it nice and slowly okay because what we don't want to do we don't want to overheat this uh, this this, uh, this blank and that applies to Corian or wood whatever you're using for this um, and I've also only gone halfway through now this is probably go against all uh, recommendations but I told you that when this drill goes in there when I start the drill up you can see that it's it's got a little bit of vibration in it so that's going to go off center so I take this out and I'll put it back in there like that and hopefully this will work I can drill from the other end and hopefully meet in the middle it worked for the French why not us forgot one thing then I must to line this up with this hole before we start
So at this point, I worry if I'm going to meet the other hole. Seems like we got it. So there we have it, hole in the centre, coming out in the centre, and that's exactly what we need. Okay, we need to go over to here now, over the bench, and um, uh, we can just show you now that this this uh, blank now is going to fit into this, into this, um, oh we just drilled, we've got a little bit of resistance in the middle, so I'm going to put it back up on the jig. Making sure it fits there. Right, now the next job for us to do is to uh, um, glue the blanks uh, into these, uh, the, the, the brass bars into the blanks. Okay, now there's lots of different things. You can spend a lot of money on buying equipment uh, for pen making. You can get a special jig for about £70 to do what we've just done with my, with my homemade jig, which cost me about 70 pence. Uh, you can also get a, a, a pen mandrel. Uh, for um, sorry, another pen mandrel, uh, a, a tool for inserting the blanks. Now I use these. Um, these cost about five quid, and uh, these are great for because they're all different sizes as well for inserting the blanks. Okay, so that's what we got for that. So let's take this one out. Now then, before before the blanks uh, are put into there, these blanks are very very shiny. Okay, so they need to be roughed up a little bit. With a bit of rough old sandpaper. I use a bit of this old 60 here, which is good, and then we will rough this up. Don't do it too much because we don't want to take any material off it, but you just want to rough rough the surface up a little bit so that the glue will take it. So we got two of these. Either use the CA glue for this, or we can use. I prefer to use the two part epoxy that gives you five minutes for it to go off. But for the sake of this exercise, I'm going to take a chance and I'm going to put CA glue on this. Now, what I like to do as well before I put the glue in, I got these little bottle brushes, which are very, very handy. So I'm putting in here. I'm cleaning the inside out. Okay, because we don't want any dust in there, because otherwise the glue won't stick. Alright, so let's do those ready. Right. Let's live in hope that this is going to work right. See the glue all over, into here, and into there. Make 
sure that it's at least at least down to the surface of one end. Okay. That'll be fine. And we always make these just a little bit longer than the brass tube because sometimes you get breakout, especially if you try drilling these all the way through, and that's where I like to drill from, from each end. So we'll put a little bit of activator on there now. Okay. So then we can get straight on then with the next part of the project. That's the end of the CA glue in for now. Try and get this back on there. Right, lovely, lovely. Uh, let's finish with this.